Hey guys, this is Bharat and welcome to Bharat's Kitchen with how to make Indo-Chinese chicken noodles. That's right. Well, not only Indo-Chinese, noodles in itself can be found anywhere in this world with everybody's own interpretation, but the basics always remains the same. All right. So, I'm going to start by slicing my chicken. So, I'm going to cut it in half and slice my chicken diagonally or at a 45 degree angle. So if you're thinking why I'm slicing in this way, so basically if the fibers of the chicken are stacked together, they'll be able to retain more moisture and this will make the chicken more juicier. At this point, we're gonna take a bowl, add two tablespoons of water, some salt, some sugar, some white pepper powder, and finally some vinegar. We're gonna mix everything together until the sugar dissolves. Then we're gonna add our chicken to the marinade and keep it inside a refrigerator for around half an hour. All right, so I've taken a wok. Now you can use any large utensil and add some water. Now to boil the noodles perfectly, we'll wait until the water boils. And as soon as the water boils, we're gonna add some salt. Now by adding salt in boiling water, it'll dissolve quickly and salt has sodium, which will marginally elevate the boiling point of water. Now, since the noodles are at a different temperature than the boiling water, so when you'll add the noodles to the water, the temperature of water will decrease. And therefore, for an even cooking of noodles, we added sodium in the form of salt so that the temperature of water doesn't decrease a lot. Now, under any circumstances, we don't want the noodles to be cooked all the way through or overdone. Instead, we want them to be a bit underdone, I'd say around 85 to 90 percent. It took me exactly about 210 seconds to reach there but in your case you'll have to check your timing according to your noodles. So we'll keep the noodles under cold running water basically to stop the cooking process and remove the excess starch. Then we're gonna add some oil and mix the oil thoroughly throughout the noodles. Now oil will prevent the noodles from sticking together and in the end your noodles should be a little firm and they should break like this. Now here, I've finally sliced some vegetables, which is one third or 60 grams of cabbage, around four to five spring onion bulbs, one mid-size or 30 grams of onion. I'm also going to be using some bok choy, just because I love bok choy in my noodles. We're also going to be finely slicing around 10 grams of Chinese cabbage, one mid-size or around 20 grams of capsicum, also known as bell pepper, and finally two mid-size or around 40 grams of English carrots. And don't worry, I've already separated my spring onion stalks from my spring onion. And yes, I know so many vegetables to slice, but eating so many vegetables will make you sexy, and someday as sexy as the person who's giving the voice in this video. I'm seriously not joking. But yes, you can use any other vegetable of your own choice, because you know all the doodles of your own noodles. Alright, so now I'm gonna take the chicken out of the refrigerator and first we're gonna get rid of this excess water. Then we're gonna add one egg and mix until the egg becomes runny. At this point, we're gonna add some cornstarch and mix until the cornstarch disappears. Finally, we're gonna add some oil and mix until the oil disappears. Now I've broken two eggs and I'm gonna add some salt to taste and some white pepper powder. We're gonna beat the eggs gently and yes you ladies out there, if you had a fight with your husband then beating might be a good exercise. Alright so everything is ready, so now let's start cooking. So I'm gonna take a walk on a medium heat and add some oil. Then first we're gonna cook our eggs, so we're gonna add our beaded eggs and cook them around 30 seconds on one side and then flip them. Now while flipping the eggs, try not to break your egg or make them into a thick size, otherwise it will not cook properly. And flipping and tossing are very simple. I'll show you the whole technique in my future videos, but in short, to flip or toss food, you don't need to shake your pan up and down. Instead, you have to move your pan back and forward. And when you'll apply some pressure, your food will by itself touch the edge of the pan and flip. Yes, it's that simple. Now under any circumstances, we're not going to overcook our eggs. And finally, I'm going to take my eggs out and keep them aside. Now again, on a medium flame, we're gonna add some oil and cook our coated chicken. Just be careful while adding your chicken and make sure you remove the excess coating. We're gonna cook our chicken for around two to three minutes. Now in restaurants, they add the vegetables with the chicken and start making the noodles. But there's a big difference between home cooking and restaurant cooking. So I want you to keep this in mind that their burners release almost 10 times more heat than the burners that we have in our homes. And that is why they're able to cook so quickly. Therefore, when we'll cook the noodles, our vegetables will take a little longer time to cook. So to save our chicken from overcooking, I'm gonna take my chicken out and keep it aside. Now, if you're wondering that the chicken is really juicy or I'm just making it all up, then you can see this. 
All right, now this step is the most crucial step. So we're going to refresh our noodles by keeping them under running hot water for just 30 seconds and not more than that. And if you have noticed after boiling my noodles, I've always kept my noodles under running water and never submerged them in a bowl full of water, be it cold, be it hot. So if you want to know about that, then you should definitely read my blog post. Now keep your burner to maximum flame and add generous amount of oil. Then we're going to add some ginger garlic paste and our onions. Now onions will take maximum time to cook and that is why onions always comes first. We're gonna cook the onions for 2-3 minutes precisely or until they become translucent. Then we're gonna add our capsicum, our English carrots and some bok choy. We're gonna again cook the vegetables for 2-3 minutes more and finally we're gonna add our cabbage and Chinese cabbage. Now cabbage will take the least time to cook and as soon as we add cabbage we're gonna add some salt so that the vegetables release their moisture and start to soften a little bit. Then we're gonna add some MSG, some white pepper powder, some freshly crushed black pepper powder and toss and mix everything together. We're gonna cook our vegetables in salt and spices for 2 minutes more and before adding noodles, we're gonna try and make a base of vegetables so that the noodles doesn't get in direct contact with the wok. And you're refreshing, the noodles won't stick and there won't be any burning of spices and there'll be maximum flavor output. Anyways, we're gonna add some light soy sauce some dark soy sauce for color, some sambal. Now if you want your noodles to be more spicy, you can add more sambal. Some hoisin sauce for extra flavor and finally some vinegar. We're gonna toss everything together. And if you can't toss like a pro, then you can definitely use a Chinese spatula or any other spatula or the ladle and mix everything together. I'm gonna garnish with some spring onion and add just a few drops of sesame oil. Now adding sesame oil is optional. Now at this point, we're gonna add our chicken and our egg and mix everything together and finally turn the flame off and serve. So there you go guys, how to make chicken noodles. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. For updates and queries, don't forget to like me on Facebook. Until then, I'll see you all next time.